What's going on guys? In this video, I'm going to be sharing with you one of my favorite little concepts out of the shotgun bunch formation. This concept is absolutely lethal against the user this year. This is really going to tie the user up. It's going to open up a lot of passing windows for your offense. And I'm super excited to bring this video to you today because this is going to help you defeat Mabel coverage. The meta that is starting to develop in Madden 22, ironically, is a very similar meta to the, to the meta of Madden 21, which is the basic concept of playing cover three with Mabel coverage and basically trying to user lurk over the middle. This play is going to put the user in an absolute bind. So I'm super excited to bring it to you. Now, if you're new to the channel, be sure to subscribe. We upload videos every single day on YouTube that can help you become a better Madden player. And before we go any further, I do want to let you know that uh, I actually released an entire guide on the Gun Bunch out of the Seattle Seahawks playbook. We're also adding bunch concepts from some of the other playbooks in the game like Washington, uh, Indianapolis, as well as uh, Carolina and a lot of other concepts along the way that you can kind of uh, piece together and kind of build your own gun bunch. Uh, or maybe if you want to run more Seattle or run more Indianapolis, it's kind of up to you. But we try to provide you with all of the content and all of the resources uh, to run this offense to the best of its ability. So we're going to show you how to run this play uh, today, but I also wanted to let you know that if you want to get the full guide, it's down in the description. You can get it for just 15 bucks. It's super affordable. And in Madden 22, guys, I promise you, if you run this offense efficiently, you don't try to just bomb every play, even though we do have a lot of really good bomb concepts, you are going to have a ton of success. When I just lock in and try to run an efficient offense out of Gun Bunch, I almost never, ever get stopped. I find myself being very efficient and dealing with a lot of what people like to do very effectively. So I would encourage you to pick this up. It's the best offense in the game right now. Pretty much every single pro player is running Gun Bunch in some form uh, as we head into the first tournament of the year. So I would encourage you, if you want to learn the concepts that the best of the best are using, I would encourage you to get that guide. Like I said, it's 15 bucks. There's a link in the description of the video, so you just head down there and uh, you click that link. It'll take you right to the website, get you all squared away. So anyways, guys, I wanted to go over this play Mesh Post. This is an absolute gem this year um, for a lot of reasons, but this post route is really good this year. It's one of the few uh, post routes, in my opinion, that are really, really overpowered. Uh, not overpowered, but it's just really, really good. Um, so I'm going to break down kind of why it's so good. First and foremost, um, the, four, the defense that you're probably going to get is something like this, where we have double flats to both sides, and then we've got our user in the middle of the field. So what I like to do with this concept, there's a lot of things that we can do with this, um, but one of my favorite ways to absolutely just light laser out of this play um, is to put the square receiver on an out, to put the X uh, tight in on a in route, and to put the R1 on a hitch. And this is going to create very good spacing for us because we're going to motion circle just a few steps and then snap the ball. And your first read is always this left side. As you see right there, that running back route is really effective against Mabel coverage. Most of the time when your opponent sees this, their first instinct is going to be to go guard the running back. And what that's going to do is it's going to open up our tight end in route. So you see they go to guard the running back. You just dump it to the tight end. And as you see, you've got an easy, you know, 15 to 20 yards. Now, if they don't, let's say that they go to the right at the snap of the ball and they're in that coverage. What you're going to see is in practice mode, it's honestly not as effective as it is in real game mode. In real game mode, it's probably even better. But what you're going to see is this running back is going to absolutely get up into a very tender spot of the defense. Now, because like I said, in practice mode, they match. In game mode, you're not going to see that. You're, you're really not going to see that. What you're going to see is more of like a cloud flat style of coverage. I mean, you might see some defenses where they match. Um, and in that case, what you can do with this route, what I love about this route, is I can just low ball right there. So I, can, I don't have to wait on it to get deeper. And I actually like to take it as a quick read. Um, it's also, in this year's game, it's actually very effective against man coverage. So if you get man coverage, you just low ball it just like that. And as you see, we're able to put it in some really uh, critical spots uh, against the defense. So not only we have a great read against zone, we have a great read against man. 
Now, um, a couple of things real quick about this out route to the square receiver. You can choose to turn this into a smart routed out route if you would like to. Um, I find that the smart routed out route does a great job because look at how much more room I have now to throw that later in the play. You're still going to pull people out. You're still going to pull those defenders outside, but now you give yourself a reason that if they're putting, because this is another concept you'll see, they'll take this guy and they'll put him in a hook. And then they're going to basically say, okay, now I'm free to use her over here. And if they do that, what you're going to notice is when you use that smart routed out route, you're going to see he's just going to be an outside pass lead against that defense. So I personally like the smart routed out route just as much as I like the five yard out route. I probably do the five yard out route a little bit more just because of habit, but I would encourage you to test out this smart routed out route. I think it's pretty good this year. Um, against man to man, he's just going to cut to the outside, get easy separation, and be able to beat man as well. So you got two man beaters on the same side of the field. Not only do you have two man beaters on that side of the field, but you also pretty much every route on the right side this year is going to beat man for us. So the first route is obviously our tight end. Great separation against man this year. The five yard in and the five yard out route, in my opinion, are two of the best man beaters this year. And they're really simple to use. Um, if you wanted to, you could put R1 on an in and you could put the tight end on an out. I find this to be a very effective setup because now you get this little natural rub that's going to happen and you can get that guy underneath. So that's another option with this concept. Um, but really what we're trying to do is we're really trying to get their user tied down into some of these little things. And if we can get really good spacing on this with this motion, this is why the motion I think is one of the little things that most pros aren't doing right now. This little baby motion right here, what you'll see is he's going to not only get that separation um, right there. Well, of course, um, for whatever reason, he didn't get separation on that. Let me show you to you again. But typically, you're going to have your you know your route runner there, whoever your route runner guy is. Uh, Brown's not the best receiver. But what you'll see is typically he will get inside position. And if he doesn't, we can always check down. As you see, that hitch is a very consistent read against man-to-man. -man. Um, the one thing I will say with this is if you know it's man-to-man, -man, what you can also do is let this receiver set up outside. Uh, what that's going to do is it's going to get him inside leverage, which is going to allow him to beat man coverage, just like that. So you can actually let him set his feet outside if you're worried that it might be man-to-man -man coverage. The motion snap on this post route, though, is a really, really effective way to run this if it is not man-to-man -man coverage. So let me show you what it looks like now. So remember, their user goes to the underneath. And now what we get is a lot of space to throw this post. Um, and what I love about this is we've got multiple windows. I'm a huge fan of that this year. I think that it's super important this year to have multiple windows at which you can throw a route. So for example, let's say that they're playing the Mabel concept over here on the left side. I'm gonna put hard flats and cloud flats out there. And then their user might sit over here because obviously we've got that wheel route. We've got a lot of action on this left side hash mark in the middle of the field on this play. What you might do with this is you can actually let him set up just like you're running verticals and then snap the ball and now you're running this play. Look at this post route. Absolutely cook cover three and get in a very unique position against the Mabel coverage. So that's another option that you have. Um, and you're noticing what's gonna happen if they're running these cloud flats and if they're running these other routes. One other little thing that you can do is take the R1 and put him on the in route and take the tight end and leave him on the flat. The reason you might do this is if you think that that flat will pull these zones out and look at that little pocket that we can now throw that ball into. The reason I like that is because again, it gets us out of this middle of the field. We're still beating Mabel coverage and we're still running a middle of the field kind of concept. But if they're sitting over here pre-snap, if they're over there, this gives us a lot of flexibility because now what we can do, and this is where I really like like the in and out setup or you know something like that, because now when I motion this guy out, there's something that's gonna pull these clouds and then I can throw right there which is very difficult for a user to get to. Borderline impossible for a user to get there uh, at this year's game. So not only do you have that read this year, but you also have another one that I'm really excited to share with you. 
So what they're going to do is they're going to run into this post, but they're going to let it go at a certain point, especially if they use it early on. With the motion snap, you're going to see that the running back is going to create space up the seam, and it's going to allow you to basically lowball this, um, basically lowball this on the sideline. Right there, I think I snapped him just a little bit too quick or a little bit too late uh, in the concept. So let me show you again. So again, all we're doing, smart routed out route, you can do whatever interaction you want on this right side, whether it be an in and a hitch, or whether it be an out and a hitch, a flat and a hitch, um, a flat and an in, anything you want on that side, okay? But now what you should see, he's gonna drag across, and I can kind of throw him late in the play uh, against the defense. And again, you if you're, if you're kind of planning on that, my advice would be motion him and then snap the ball instantly. Because you see that if you get him too far out, he'll stop running the route, which is not what we want. We want him to keep going. So just motion snap, just quick, real quick motions. Now look at all the space he's got. Pass lead this to the left, and now you're killing the coverage over the top. So that's one of several ways that we talk about in the guide on how to run this concept. There's another way that you can run this concept where it's a little bit more like the play double post um, out of the out of the Carolina Panthers playbook. And where you see what I like about the mesh post though, is again, it gets under this third over here. So you have all that room to be able to get over the top of the coverage, which I really like that because it makes the user have to go guard it later in the play, okay? So thanks for watching this video. I hope you enjoyed it. I hope it was helpful for you. And if it was and you wanna learn the entire Seattle Seahawks offensive guide and the rest of the gun bunch content that I have in my ebook uh, or my offensive guide this year, there's a link in the description that you can pick that up for just 15 bucks. So super, super cheap and a great resource for you, in my opinion, as a start of the year guide. We're gonna to continue to update it if there's any patches that come out that change any of the things that we're doing. But for right now, I really, really like this offense and I've been being very, very efficient and very, very effective in it. So if you wanna learn this, if you wanna learn the way that I run it and the way that the best man players in the world run it, you can get this guide for just 15 bucks in the description down below. You just click that link that I put down there. It'll take you right to the website. And then from there, you'll be able to get the guide instantly emailed to you and get going on getting your offense to the next level.